Bangladesh is having a dream, what we want to be in 2041. And if you see the numbers, this is what we want to be in terms of GDP growth, inflation, investment to GDP, per capita income, and reduction of property. But someone told that this is the bottom of the basket, but we proved it wrong. And see what we have done. She is saying that this has to be a digital one. We have to be a smart economy. We have our citizens should be smart. A smart government should run the country, and a smart society should be there. And that's why this is when she took over, and this is today. Just see the transformation under a great leadership between the last 70 years. The GDP growth is now 5.78%, which will be more than six hopefully. Then these businesses made in Bangladesh, but we have a lot of other areas where Chinese investment can come and take advantage of the power. Over 70 are infrastructure and energy. And you can see these are the big projects that we have made in Bangladesh. And Chinese Thank you very much. Dear Robert and Excellencies, distinguished business leaders, friends from the business community, distinguished guests and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum, good morning, ni hao, well, welcome to you all. Bhagavad Gita has opened new frontier in technological advancement. Notably, we have a large pool of skilled workers available at competitive wages. Moreover, Bangladesh has the world's second largest community of registered IT freelancers. We have made significant strides in developing our telecommunications infrastructure, reaching out to a to even the first farthest area, we have progressively establishing 38 high-tech parks, inviting foreign investment in some pro promising sectors. Our vision is to build a smart Bangladesh by 2041. Smart citizen, smart government, smart economy, and smart society. That is our main aim. Opportunity for entire within median age of around 27 years. Our population is characterized by energy, dedication, sincerity, and a strong work ethics. We are continuously working to enhance the capability of, capabilities of our workforce through vocational training and higher education initiatives. Our youths are gearing up to participate in the fourth industrial revolution. Thus, investing in Bangladesh means gaining access to a large pool of skill and skill to level which is both cost-effective and capable. Ladies and gentlemen, I encourage the Chinese business community to consider key sectors in Bangladesh. We welcome investments in our infrastructure, energy, renewable energy, and logistics sectors. 